Hello, Paul Case here with your Bible time for September 15th, 2024. Today, the message from the pulpit at uh, Exciting Southeast Baptist Church in Commerce, Oklahoma, was found in, excuse me, Luke chapter 7, verse 18 through 23. It's the word of God says, and then the disciples of John reported to him concerning all these things. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus saying, Are you the coming one or do we look for another? And when the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to, say, to you saying, Are you the coming one or do we look for another? And that very hour he cured many infirmities afflictions and evil spirits and to many blind he gave sight and so jesus answered and said to them go and tell john the things that you have seen and heard that the blind see the lame walk the lepers are cleansed the deaf hear the dead are raised and the poor have the gospel preached to them and blessed is he who is not offended because of me now we know who john the baptist was and so if we look at three things that John knew uh, or that happened around John that would show us that he knew who Jesus was is number one, when Mary was pregnant with Jesus and went to visit Elizabeth, who was John's mother, the Bible records that John leapt while he was in the womb. That means he jumped. And... Uh, <clears throat> The reasoning behind that was because he was in the presence of Jesus. It was the first time he'd ever been in the presence of Jesus. And uh, then the second thing that we know about John is that because uh, Mary and Elizabeth were sisters, John was Jesus' cousin. So he wasn't, uh, wasn't like he was away from him all the time or didn't know anything about him. He probably knew about him growing up and everything and a lot of people fail to realize jesus was 30 when he started his earthly ministry and so there was a lot of years passed there and he would have been around his cousin at least enough to know who he was and maybe not always knew everything about him but knew who he was and then the third thing that we've got in scripture that proves to us that john knew who jesus was is john baptized jesus and the bible records about that baptism that when John brought Jesus up out of the water, and this was, uh, Jesus wasn't baptized because he needed his sins washed away. He had no sins. And baptism can't wash your sins away anyway. It's just an outward expression of the inward change that happens within you when you trust Christ as your Savior. And Jesus, the reason he was baptized was to give us a glimpse of how we're supposed to baptize people. And so you can get it through what the scripture says, that they should be baptized by full immersion. And it says it this way, when he came up out of the water. And I only know a few things about coming up out of the water. And one of them is you can't come up out of the water till you've been down in under the water. And so he was fully put down in the water when he was baptized. And at his baptism, after he came up out of the water, the Bible records that everyone heard a voice as if it was God saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. I believe it was God's voice. And so if we tone down everything that's said here to terms that we would know today, John sends a couple of these guys over to see from Jesus if he's the one. And why did he do that whenever he knew he was the one? is because things wasn't happening like everybody expected them to. The people then expected a ruler to come in that would free them from the bondage that they were in under uh, the rule of the Romans. And God sets us free by Christ, not from the rules we're currently under, but from eternal damnation and so uh, you, you also got to realize that uh, Jesus knew he was the one and I believe John knew he was the one but he sent these guys over to see if if it was really him or not so uh, 
They just sent him, were sent to ask if he was the one. And Jesus tells them, go tell John what you saw. And what it was they saw was the deaf being, let's see, it was the, the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And so we see that they saw very uh, quick evidence that Jesus was the Messiah to come, and he is the Messiah. There's far too many folks today, though, that uh, think Jesus comes to judge them. And if you'll notice how he came the first time, it's uh, likened unto a lamb, and he is the lamb of Judah. He came uh, softly and tenderly. He didn't force himself on anyone. He he just, uh, by the way, it, it tells us in the Bible that Jesus went around from place to place doing good. He was a do-gooder. That's why they didn't like him. Um, the Roman officials, and maybe they didn't even notice, but the Jewish officials did not like him because he was a threat to them. <clears throat> They were more into the things that they could see and touch than they were the things that they could know in their heart and be assured of as such. Uh, far too many folks think that Jesus comes to judge them, and they are offended. It says there, blessed is he who is not offended because of me, is what Jesus said. Um, people are offended by religion these days. And not all religion is bad. I think there's some aspects of religion that are good. But the truth is, we don't need religion if we have Christianity. Christianity cares. Religion just uh, enforces the rules and shames you if you break the rules. And Christianity doesn't do that. Jesus came to forgive those wrongs. Now, not many people are offended by Jesus' birth. They don't mind seeing Jesus... Uh, uh, born and a little bitty baby in a manger and all the, the circumstances that go with that, they don't seem to mind. And they're not really offended by Jesus' ministry these days of how he went around helping people and uh, curing the sick and and raising people to life from the dead. Uh, they're not against that. But many are offended by his death and resurrection. And why would they be offended? Is because he says, I'm the only way. He doesn't say, I'm a way. He's not an all-inclusive God. He is a God, a Messiah, who came to save those who would believe in him, is what the Scripture says. But yeah, he's going to be the judge. He will be the judge of sin when he returns. And he is a righteous judge and a just judge. And he will not uh, condemn a person. He will not judge a person for sins that they have previously had forgiven. And so how do we get out of, how do we escape the judgment of God and having God's wrath placed on us to have our sins forgiven? And the only way you can have your sins forgiven is by believing in Jesus and trusting in Him. And He will grant you forgiveness of sins. Um, so what's this tell us and what's the point? Here's the point. To the unbeliever, the point ought to be come and see. Come and see. Come and check Jesus out. Come and give him a try. I heard it said that you wouldn't buy a used car without test driving at first. Why do we think that people ought to just jump in and see if they could follow Jesus and that would be enough? Uh, it's all right. Come and try. Come and see him. Uh, come and see what he's done. Um, he told John's followers or John's two disciples that came, he said, go tell them the things that you've seen and heard. And so we can we can say, just come and see. And then to the believer, it should be go and tell. Go and tell of the things that we've heard and seen. We ought to be in that position to share with others as we get the opportunity. Um, I was a guest on live last night, and it's really made an impression on me that I got to share uh, something of faith with a guy who was a commenter on the live uh, because he asked a question. You know what? I got to tell you, don't be afraid to ask questions, but um, don't let questions stand in the way of you understanding and receiving salvation from Jesus. A lot of people want to say, well, I just don't know all about it. Well, you never will. We, we won't know everything until it happens, but we do know that you need to trust in Jesus now so that you can receive that later. So to the unbelievers, come and see. Come and see. Come and test Jesus out. And to the believer, it's go and tell. 
go tell others about Jesus. Hey, thank you for watching. If you wanted to catch the whole message and go back and, and watch it, it will be and has been posted on our Facebook page at Exciting Southeast Baptist Church, Commerce, Oklahoma, on Facebook. You can view the whole thing. Uh, lots of good uplifting singing. And uh, we had birthdays we celebrated today. My church always says their pledges at the beginning of every worship service. Uh, we're, we're back to trying to get a lot of the things that we uh, had to change during uh, a certain time about four years ago. And so today was the first day we passed the offering plate since then. And so we're trying to get back in the rhythm of doing that. And, and uh, so if you're uh, interested in watching that, go go over there and check it out. Thanks for paying attention and watching in Bible time today. And I pray God's richest blessings on y'all. We'll talk to you later.